Good morning. Today we will talk about human development and also we will talk about natural resources. What we mean by human development? Human development is a process that put people at the center of development. It enlarging their choices in order to improve their quality of life. Human development is development of people, development by people and for people. So, human development is a process that put people at the center of development, enlarging their choices in order to improve their quality of life. The main goal of human development to achieve better quality of life, to improve the quality of life. Human development is development of people by people. First step of human development, development of people. This step is called human resource development. Human resource development looking at people as a resource or as a factors of production. The difference between human resource development and human development that human resource development just step number one in human development is development of people. While human development three steps development of people by people and for people. Again, human resource development is not the same as human development. Human resource development just step number one in human development, development of people. Why? Human development, three steps. Development of people, by people and for people. Three sectors of human investment, education, training and health care. So, the first step of human development, development of people. This step is called human resource development. Human resource development, looking at people as a resource or as a factors of production. So, human resource development is not the same as human development. Human resource development, first step of human development. While human development, three steps. Development of people by people and for people. Second step of human development by people. Development by people means effective participation of the qualified people in all aspects of their lives. Again, development by people means effective participation of the qualified people in all aspects of their lives. Qualified people mean after education, training, and health care. After step number one, development of people. Again, development by people mean effective participation of the qualified people in all aspects of their lives. Qualified people mean after finishing step number one, development of people. Third step or last step of human development for people. To improve the quality of life through enlarging people's choices. So the main goal of human development to improve the quality of life. Human development, three steps. Development of people, which called human resource development, looking at people as a resource or as a factor of production. Human resource development, education, training, and health care. Second step, development by people, effective participation of qualified people. Qualified after education, health care, and training. Last step of human development for people, the, goal, the main goal of human development to improve the quality of life, to achieve better quality of life. How to measure human development? We measure human development through Human Development Index, HDI, Human Development Index. HDI, Human Development Index, is a combined indicator of three factors. Life expectancy at birth, which is the number of years that a person is expected to live when he or she is born. Second, literacy rate, which represents who are able to read and write. Real per capita income adjusted for PPP, Purchasing Power Parity. HDI 
Human Development Index range from 0 to 1. From 0 to 0.5, low human development. From 0.5 to 0.8, medium human development. From 0.8 to 0.9, high human development. And from 0.9 to 1, very high human development. So, how we measure human development? Through Human Development Index, HDI. HDI classify countries according to human development. HDI range from 0 to 1. 0 to 0.5, low human development. 0.5 to 0.8, medium human development. From 0.8 to 0.9, high human development and 0.9 to 1 very high human development now we will talk about natural resources natural resources natural resources are natural assets can be used for economic production or consumption natural resources are natural assets raw materials that can be used for economic production or consumption Natural resources, resources that exist without actions of human kinds. Again, what we mean by natural resources? Natural resources are natural assets, raw materials used for economic production or consumption. Natural resources are resources that exist without actions of human kinds. We have two types of natural resources renewable resources and non-renewable resources in renewable resources it means that continually reproduced over a relatively short period of time again first type of natural resources renewable resources renewable resources reproduced over a relatively short period of time non-renewable resources second type of natural resources which mean resources that are consumed much faster than nature can create them. So, non-renewable resources cannot be reproduced or generated. Again, we have two types of natural resources. Renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Renewable resources mean Resources reproduced over a relatively short period of time. Why? Non-renewable resources, resources cannot be reproduced and generated. Non-renewable resources, resources that are consumed much faster than nature can create them. First, we have water resources. Water is one of the most important resources for every living thing. Providing free water is very important for the human being. Again, water is one of the most important resources for every living thing. Providing free water is very important for the human beings. Water scarcity can mean scarcity in availability due to physical storage or scarcity in access due to failure of institution to ensure a regular supply or due to lack of adequate infrastructure so water scarcity can mean scarcity in availability scarcity in access or due to a lack of adequate infrastructure water scarcity can mean scarcity in availability due to physical shortage or scarcity in access due to the failure of institutions to ensure a regular supply or due to lack of adequate infrastructure in many countries economic and social growth as well as urbanization have increased water demand while Water supply has remained unchanged or even decreased due to climate change. So, water demand increased due to increase in population, population growth due to urbanization, while the supply of water remained unchanged or even decreased due to climate change. So, 
we have a problem of water scarcity. Sources of water supply. There are two sources of water supply. We have surface water and ground water. Surface water is formed as the following. We have running water, which means that water in the rivers and streams. And also we have standing water. Standing waters in lakes, pools, and storage. So we have surface water, surface water, we have running water and standing water. We also we have groundwater. Groundwater is the second largest source of fresh water. It's a water which accumulates underground the layers of soil and rocks. So in water supply, we have surface water and groundwater. In Good morning. Today we'll talk about human development and also we'll talk about natural resources. What we mean by human development? Human development is a process that put people at the center of development. It enlarging their choices in order to improve their quality of life. Human development is development of people, development by people, and for people. So, human development is a process that put people at the center of development, enlarging their choices in order to improve their quality of life. The main goal of human development to achieve better quality of life, to improve the quality of life. Human development is development of people, by people and for people. We have also industrial use. The major source of revenue of a group or company is an indicator of its relevant industry. So the demand for water resources witness a huge increase in all the main sectors which use water. So we have a problem, we have water scarcity because Water demand increases while water supply unchanged or even decreased due to climate change. Again, the problem of water scarcity that we have in water demand greater than water supply. Water demand increases due to increase in population in and urbanization and water supply unchanged or even decreased due to climate change. To reach the efficient use of water, we have to marginal benefit must equal marginal cost. The efficient use of water achieved when marginal benefit equal marginal cost. Marginal benefit from a good or services is a benefit received from consuming one more unit of it. Again, what we mean by marginal benefit? Marginal benefit from a good is the benefit received from consuming one more unit of it. Marginal cost of a good is the opportunity cost of producing one more unit of it. We calculate marginal cost from the slope of the PPF, production possibility frontier. So, to reach the efficient use of water, marginal cost must equal marginal benefit. Marginal benefit, benefit from consuming one more unit of the good. While marginal cost is the opportunity cost of producing one more unit of it. We calculate marginal cost from the slope of production possibility frontier, PPF. So, to reach the efficient use of water, marginal benefit must equal marginal cost. Second, we have energy. Energy, one of the most important natural resources. Energy is considered to be the lifeline of an economy. Energy is very important for the economy. Energy, one of the most important strategic commodities. We also we have groundwater. Groundwater is the second largest source
source of fresh water. It's a water which accumulates underground the layers of soil and rocks. So, in water supply, we have surface water and groundwater. The cost of generating electricity. We have capital cost and running cost. Capital cost mean building the power project. Again, capital cost mean building the power the cost of building the power project. While running cost operating and maintaining the project. So the cost of generating electricity, we have capital cost and running cost. Capital cost building the power project while running cost operating and maintaining the project. To determine the true cost of generating electricity, the cost of pollution and other external costs should be included in the calculations. So, in order to calculate the cost of generating electricity, we have capital cost, the cost of building the power project, running cost operating the cost of operating and maintaining the project we also must add the cost of pollution and the cost the external cost